With more than 19.5 million people fleeing their homes worldwide, conflicts such as the Syrian civil war has brought the world's attention to one of the largest humanitarian crises of the 21st century, the refugee crisis. This crisis has many problems, such as allocating resources from humanitarian aid, constructing and maintaining refugee camps, relocating displaced people, and ensuring that people have safe passage to welcoming countries. Due to the size and complexity of this project, it may seem as though you'd need a team of superhumans to solve it, but no project is impossible, as long as you have cooperation and dedicated engineers. Systems engineering is used to find efficiencies, streamline processes, and reduce waste in many industries such as manufacturing, financial institutions, and transportation systems, but we believe that their methods and solutions could be applied to help the problems associated with the global refugee crisis. Systems engineers can use supply chain management techniques to optimally distribute money and resources such as food, clean water, and medical supplies to help improve the conditions in refugee camps. Using human factors engineering, they can work with software developers to develop apps that refugees can use to determine the best way to travel safely and efficiently to a new life. They can also design simulation models to understand the effects an increase in population would have on countries to help governments prepare for the arrival of refugees. With the help of humanitarian organizations, engineers can create optimization models to allocate refugees to countries based on the languages they speak, skills and knowledge they possess, as well as reuniting families. But all the engineers with all the amazing ideas and resources in the world could not undertake such a large project without the help of world organizations and humanitarian relief efforts. Most importantly, we need governments to cooperate and open their borders to refugees. We can solve this global crisis by crossing disciplines, geographies, cultural boundaries, and of course, some mega engineering.